We're going to represent fractions on a number line and we're going to start with the fraction 2 thirds. So let's draw a number line just as you would with whole numbers, an open number line. And I'm going to represent 0 here and represent 1 as in 1 whole. And what we want to do is represent 2 thirds in this number line that is showing 1 whole. So we know that looking at our fraction 2 thirds, 3 is the denominator. So that tells us we have a total of 3 equal parts or thirds. So we're going to draw tick marks or little lines to show 3 equal parts. Now we just want to show where 2 thirds would be on the number line. So if this is a whole, we know this first space from 0 to this first tick mark is going to be the first third. So that's 1 out of the 3 thirds. If we go to this tick mark from 1 third here, that's going to be the second third. And then from here all the way to this last tick mark is going to be 1 whole or 3 thirds. Okay? 3 thirds, because we take up the entire space, we fill up all those thirds, it completes that whole. You can show this in jumps, one third, two thirds, or you can just shade in here to represent we're going all the way to two thirds. You can draw a dot there or even circle to represent that. That is two thirds on the number line. Okay, let's do another example. Let's represent two eighths. Okay, so the same numerator but different denominator. So I'm going to draw same size whole, still representing one whole. So we're going from a distance of zero to one whole. Now I want to partition my number line into eight equal parts. So I'm going to start by partitioning it in half. And then for each half, I'm going to partition those in half to make fourths because we have four equal parts and then for each fourth I'm going to partition each fourth into in half so now we have eight equal parts so where is two eight so if I start at zero from zero to the next tick mark is one out of the eight and from that first one let's label it one eighth from here to here, we can do our jumps again. That will be two eighths. Okay, so you can label the rest of your number line or you can leave it like this to show that you found where two eighths is on the number line. If I wanted to represent five six, I would draw my number line to represent a whole. And looking at my fraction, I see that six is the denominator, so I know I need to break or partition break up or partition the whole into six equal parts. So I'm going to start by partitioning it in half first because it's an even number. And then for each half, I need three on this side and three on this side, three spaces. So I'm going to partition each half into thirds for a total of six equal parts. So where is 5, 6 on the number line? So if we're at 0, from 0 to 1 whole, we know there's 6 equal parts. So from 0 to the first tick mark is going to be 1, 6. The second mark is going to be 2, 6. 3, 6, 4, 6. Here is where 5, 6 will be on the number line. So from 0 all the way here, it represents 5, 6. Not just this point, but from 0 to this point is a length of 5, 6. What if we wanted to represent a fraction greater than 1 or a mixed number on the number line? So again, we want to draw a whole, or we want to draw a number line that represents more than one whole. So this time, what if our number line represented two holes? So that half mark would be one hole. So this time, this is one hole, this is another hole. Now that we have two holes, how could we label this? We can look at it 
as a, with the denominator of eighths or thirds or fourths. So let's partition each hole into fourths. So I'm going to take the hole and partition it into four equal parts and then take this hole and partition it into four equal parts. Let's label those fourths. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, one whole, but it's the same as four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and then two holes, which is the same as eight fourths. So out of the fourths, we know all of them equals eight fourths.